Space is vast, it's hard to truly grasp its scale. But there's something else out there that's even harder to comprehend. The speed of light. Light travels at 186,282 miles per second. That's seven and a half times around the Earth, in the blink of an eye. As far as we know, nothing in the universe can travel faster, it's the cosmic speed limit. This speed isn't just a number, it's woven into the fabric of the cosmos. It governs how stars shine, how black holes form, and how we perceive the universe itself. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that as an object approaches the speed of light, strange things happen. Time slows down, mass increases, and the very laws of physics seem to bend. Yet, even with all our technological prowess, the speed of light remains a distant and tantalizing goal. The quest to reach the ultimate speed limit is a testament to human curiosity and our insatiable desire to explore the unknown. The speed of light is untouchable, at least for now. But what about a fraction of it? What about just 1%? That's still a mind-boggling 1,860 miles per second, or over 6.7 million miles per hour. Achieving even 1% of the speed of light would revolutionize space exploration. We could reach the outer planets in months instead of years, explore nearby star systems within a human lifetime, and unlock the secrets of the cosmos at an unprecedented rate. Such speeds would also have profound implications for communication, allowing for near-instantaneous contact across interstellar distances. However, reaching this milestone is far from easy. It would require overcoming immense technological hurdles. We'd need propulsion systems more powerful than anything we've ever created, capable of generating enormous amounts of energy while remaining incredibly efficient. Despite these challenges, the pursuit of 1% the speed of light is a worthy endeavor. Before we could even dream of chasing the speed of light, we had to conquer a more earthly barrier, the sound barrier. For decades, the speed of sound, approximately 767 miles per hour, seemed like an insurmountable obstacle. Aircraft that attempted to break this barrier often encountered dangerous shock waves that could rip them apart. Then, in 1947, Chuck Yeager piloted the experimental Bell X-1 rocket plane past the sound barrier, ushering in the jet age. This breakthrough revolutionized air travel, making it possible to cross continents in hours instead of days. It also marked a pivotal moment in our quest for speed, proving that we could overcome seemingly impossible barriers. Military jets pushed the boundaries of speed and altitude, while commercial airliners became larger, faster, and more efficient. The jet age represents a significant achievement in human history. In 1957, the world watched in awe as a small metallic sphere called Sputnik, one became the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. Launched by the Soviet Union, Sputnik traveled at speeds of up to 18,000 miles per hour, completing an orbit every 96 minutes. While Sputnik itself was a relatively simple device, its impact was profound. It marked the beginning of the space age, sparking a fierce rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. This competition fueled rapid advancements in rocketry, materials science and communication technology. Sputnik also captured the imagination of people around the world. It was a symbol of human ingenuity and our ability to extend our reach beyond the confines of Earth. The space race had begun, and with it, a new era of exploration and discovery. In 1969, Neil Armstrong took one small step onto the lunar surface, fulfilling President John F. Kennedy's challenge to land a man on the moon before the end of the decade. The Apollo missions were a testament to human ambition, ingenuity, and courage, pushing the boundaries of what was technologically possible at the time. Apollo 10, a dress rehearsal for the first lunar landing, holds the record for the fastest speed achieved by a crewed spacecraft. During its return from the moon, the Apollo 10 command module reached a speed of 24,791 miles per hour as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. This incredible speed was necessary to escape the moon's gravity and return the astronauts safely to Earth. The Apollo missions demonstrated the power of human innovation and the importance of international collaboration in achieving ambitious goals. The legacy of Apollo extends far beyond the lunar surface. It inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers. In 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft on a grand tour of the outer solar system. 
these robotic explorers sent back stunning images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, revolutionizing our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 1, now the most distant human-made object from Earth, is traveling at a speed of about 38,000 miles per hour relative to the Sun. It has crossed into interstellar space, the region between the stars, carrying with it a golden record containing sounds and images of life on Earth. The Voyager missions are a testament to our enduring fascination with the cosmos. They represent the human desire to explore the unknown, to push the boundaries of our knowledge, and to leave our mark on the universe. As Voyager 1 continues its journey into the vast expanse of interstellar space, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of humanity. The pursuit of speed isn't always about sleek spacecraft and carefully calculated trajectories, sometimes it's about the unexpected consequences of pushing the limits of science and technology. During the early days of nuclear testing, scientists conducted a series of experiments known as Operation Plumbob. In one particularly intriguing test, a steel plate cap was placed atop a shaft containing a nuclear device. When the device detonated, the plate was launched upwards at an astounding speed estimated to be over 125,000 miles per hour, or six times faster than the Earth's escape velocity. The steel plate was never found, leading to speculation that it might have been vaporized in the intense heat or escaped Earth's gravity altogether. This event highlighted the immense energy released by nuclear reactions and their potential to propel objects at incredible speeds. In the 1970s, long before the Parker Solar Probe, there were the Helios probes. These were a joint venture between West Germany and NASA, built to study the Sun up close and personal. Helios 1 and Helios 2, launched in 1974 and 1976 respectively, hold the record for the fastest speeds achieved by any human-made object in a heliocentric orbit. Whipping around the Sun at mind-boggling velocities, these probes reached top speeds of over 150,000 miles per hour. Their mission to study the sun's solar wind, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. The data they gathered revolutionized our understanding of our star. Helios taught us about the dynamics of the solar wind, the stream of charged particles constantly flowing from the sun. They also helped us understand how solar flares and coronal mass ejections impact the Earth and its surroundings. In 2018, NASA launched the Parker Solar Probe on a daring mission to touch the Sun. This groundbreaking spacecraft is designed to fly closer to the Sun than any previous mission, braving intense heat and radiation to unlock the secrets of our star. As the Parker Solar Probe swoops closer to the Sun, it gains incredible speed, thanks to the Sun's immense gravity. In 2023, it smashed its own record reaching a mind-blowing speed of 394,736 miles per hour relative to the sun. That's about 0.064% the speed of light, the fastest any human-made object has ever traveled. The Parker Solar Probe is providing unprecedented insights into the sun's atmosphere, magnetic fields, and solar wind. By flying through the sun's corona, the outermost layer of its atmosphere, the probe is helping scientists understand the mysteries of solar wind acceleration and coronal heating. This mission is pushing the boundaries of engineering and scientific understanding. The pursuit of speed is more than just a desire to go fast. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, of exploring the unknown, and of connecting with the universe on a deeper level. From breaking the sound barrier to sending spacecraft hurtling towards the stars, our quest for speed is driven by a fundamental human need to explore, to discover, and to understand. Each milestone in our pursuit of speed has led to groundbreaking discoveries and technological advancements. Jet planes have shrunk the world, connecting people and cultures like never before. Spacecraft have allowed us to study our planet, the solar system, and the universe beyond with unprecedented detail. But the quest for speed is not without its challenges. We must develop new materials, propulsion systems, and safety measures to protect both humans and machines from the extreme forces and conditions encountered at high velocities. What does the future hold for the quest for speed? While we may never reach the speed of light, our journey to approach it is far from over. Scientists and engineers are already exploring innovative new propulsion systems, 
such as ion propulsion, fusion power, and even antimatter engines that could one day propel spacecraft to speeds far exceeding anything we can achieve today. These advancements could enable us to reach neighboring star systems within a human lifetime, opening up a new era of interstellar exploration. Imagine a future where humans could travel to other planets, study distant stars up close, and perhaps even encounter other forms of life. However, the future of high-speed travel is not just about reaching distant destinations, it's also about finding faster and more efficient ways to travel here on Earth. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, one thing is certain, the quest for speed will continue to inspire us, challenge us, and lead us to new and unimaginable discoveries.